Hello folks, so in this video I'm going to continue working on Space Invaders in Pygame. I will run the game to show how far I'd gotten in the last video. So I've got the spaceship and what I added in was functionality to add bullets. So as I hold down the spacebar or as I press the spacebar, I can shoot these bullets. Uh, there's a limit on them so that I don't generate too many and when they go off the top of the screen they actually get deleted from the group rather than just disappearing off the screen and staying in memory. So what I want to focus on in this video is adding in the aliens. And again, as I've done with the existing uh, spaceship and bullets class, I'm going to create the aliens in the same way. So I'll come down here and I'll start creating the aliens. And for that, I can pretty much just copy one of these. I'll copy the bullets because it's a little bit simpler. And just tweak the code a little bit. So I change this to aliens, create aliens class, uh, rename that to aliens, and everything else stays the same. They take an X and a Y coordinate. Uh, this first line stays the same, and then the image I have to change to the alien. However, what I've done is I have a sprite sheet which had a bunch of different aliens on it, and I just picked a few of them uh, and added them into my image folder. So I want to use random uh, alien images throughout this rather than just using the same ones or having them like particular ones in a row and then changing them per row. I'm just going to use completely random ones at each point. So to do that I change this line here to alien and then I just want to add a random value. So the way that I've named my images is alien 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I want a random value that's going to give me one of those numbers. So that's going to be uh, random dot rand int. So it's going to be a random integer and the range is going to be 1 to 5 and once I've got that, that's going to give me a number but of course if I want to add that number to this string I need to add an str function at the start. So the only other thing of course to do is this is not uh, automatically loaded in this function. So I need to call in or that, that library, sorry, I need to add that in here. So I will import random. So that's an extra module that I have to add in before I can uh, call the randint function from the random module. So this will create an image. It will take one of those images that I've got within the uh, aliens uh, sheet. And then it will create a rectangle from that image and set it positioned at the center based on the X and Y. So just the same as I did with the other classes. So that will create my instance of an alien class. Now to add the update function. So I will say define update self and I just want these aliens to move left and right uh, across the screen. But before I do that I want to actually create them first of all. So I just want to show them on the screen stationary and then add in this functionality. So I will just say pass for now. and uh, I will come down below here and I will start creating the aliens. So as before I need to create uh, a group and then add anything, any instances into that group. So I will say alien group equals uh, pygame dot sprite dot group. So that's going to create an empty group for all of my aliens to be stored in. And now I can actually start creating instances of these. So I will create a function for that. Define create aliens. So because I'm going to have a wall of them, I'll have a certain number of columns and a certain number of rows, this function is just going to iterate through that range and it'll create a whole bunch of instances of the aliens class and add them to the group. So before I do this, I need to define a couple of global variables. So I have to add a function, uh, sorry, an, a section here, which will say define game variables. And in here I will say rows equals five, and calls equals five. So I'll have five rows of five columns of aliens. So now I've got those defined, I can continue with this function. I'll just say generate aliens and I can iterate through that. So for row in range of oops, range of rows, which is that variable that I defined above, I want to iterate through each row and then within each row I want to iterate through each item in that row. So then I just say range calls. And at each of these points, I want to create a new alien. So this alien is going to be 
an instance of my aliens class, which needs to take an X and a Y coordinate. The X and the Y coordinates are going to change depending on which row and which item I'm in. So as these numbers increase, I want to create the aliens next to each other. And then once I finish the row, I want to move down and create another row of aliens. So I will space these aliens 100 pixels apart. So I will say item multiplied by 100. That's going to be the X coordinate. So it's going to start off at, uh, or it's going to go 0, then 100, 200, 300. However, I don't want it to start right over on the left-hand side of the screen. I want to add a little buffer. So I will say 100 plus this. And then for the Y coordinate, I will do pretty much the same thing. I want to start with a little buffer at the top. So 100, and then it's going to be row multiplied by, and this time I will say 7. So when I'm first iterating through the row, it's only the item that's increasing. So the X coordinate will keep moving up uh, or moving to the right while the row stays the same. And then once I finish this iteration, it means that I finish creating that row of aliens. I move on to the next row. So then that Y coordinate changes and I'll just do the same thing again. So once each alien has been created, I need to add them to the alien group. Dot add alien. So this function will create that wall of aliens, but I need to call this. So I don't want to call this within my main game loop because then it's just going to keep creating them over and over. I will call this just underneath. So I'll say create aliens. So that's a defined and then that will create the list. Uh, sorry, the group of aliens. So the only thing left to do is to show them on the screen. So I can come down here and I've got my bullet group and my spaceship group. So now I can say alien group dot draw onto the screen. And the same here, alien group dot update. So let's just see if that has worked. I'll run the code and there we go. I've got a whole bunch of aliens up here. I've got one, two, three, four, five, and one, two, three, four, five rows. And you can see each image is, is different. Uh, well, they're not all different, but I've got five different types of aliens that I could have used. Uh, so they're just randomly picking which one to use. So for example, you can see I've got this red one up here. If I was to run the code again, I now have a different alien here. I now have a red one here instead, but it's just it's random and it's different every time. So I thought that was a nice little feature to add just to regenerate the game. So it's a little bit different each time you play. But at the moment, those aliens are stationary. So I need to move them left and right. So I'll come back into my aliens class and where I have this update function, I will just add this little functionality into them. It's not going to be overly complicated. I just want them to move to the left until they reach a certain value and then switch direction and move to the right. So I need to add a direction uh, variable here. So where I have my init at the moment, I will also now add self dot move direction. And this will be either a one or a negative one, depending on which direction I'm moving in. So I want them to start off moving to the right hand side. So that will be a positive direction. And I don't want to, to, to move too fast. So I will define a counter for this. So this is different to what I did with the bullets where I used a timer. Here I will actually use a counter. So I'll start this counter off at zero. And then within my update code, all I want the, the update to do is just to move them over in the direction of this variable. So self.rect.x, just increase that by one times self.move direction. Actually, I don't need this one times. I'm not sure why I added that. Uh, just increase it by the move direction. So as it's one, it's just going to keep moving over by one pixel. And at the same time, I want to increase that move counter by one as well. So if I get over to a certain value, so let's say if uh, the move counter, and I will use uh, an absolute here because I'm going to be using a negative move counter as well. So self dot move counter, if this exceeds 75, then I want to change the direction that I'm moving in. So self, self dot move underscore direction, multiply that by negative one, so that it flips. So if it's moving to the right-hand side, once it reaches this value, it will flip and it will begin moving to the left-hand side. And then I want to reset my counter. However, I don't want it to reset it to zero. Instead, I'm going to set my move counter 
just to the value of the move direction. Or rather, I will multiply it by the move direction. So I will just flip the counter. So when the counter gets to 75, I will set it to uh, minus 75. So then the aliens are going to move 150 pixels across to the other side. At that point, the move direction or the move counter will be minus 75. So this if condition will be met, the move direction will flip once more, and the move counter will be multiplied again by the move direction. So this will just move them back and forth. Let's run this code. And there we go. They move over a little bit over to this side, and then they move back across. So because they start off in the center, that is the reason why I've coded it this way. So I want them to move 75 pixels over to begin with, but then after that, I needed to move 75 pixels back to get to the starting position and then keep moving 75 pixels in the opposite direction. So this way, they just keep moving back and forth across the screen and I can shoot at them. But at the moment, I don't have any code added to uh, do any collision and aliens themselves, well, they don't shoot back. I haven't coded that part in either. So I'm going to add all of that in uh, future videos. For now, I think that will do for this video. So if you found this useful, then please do leave a like. And uh, if you want to stay up to date with the future videos, then feel free to subscribe. Thanks for watching.